What's going on guys? Another Q&A with Colossus Fitness. We don't do these too often, but when we do, we answer a ton of questions. Today we're gonna keep it a little bit shorter, so if you guys want a part two, smash that like button. If we get 500 likes, we'll know y'all wanna see it. We'll do another version. Let's jump into the question. Question number one, which we got DM'd, we did our giveaway on Instagram. We said a comment on a photo, so if you guys wanna make sure to keep up to date with giveaways and uh, Q and A's and all other A things. You just gotta follow us on IG. Hey. So first question: What are your goals for 2018? Oh, that's a good one. That's a big one. So personally, as you guys know, I'm doing my recomp right now. So I'm just about done my cut and starting my lean bulk kind of journey up to 215. Get the strength back up there. We're changing up our workout routine right now. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit more infrequently because. It's just been crazy doing all this, all our social media, all that. So we're gonna try to make sure we're hitting the gym hard, really focusing on our lifts, getting nice and strong, potentially firing up powerlifting competition early 2018. As for myself, guys, I'm gonna be trying to, uh, well, I will be starting the year at 200 pounds, hopefully. I'm kinda Gee. getting close. I'm getting close, I'm getting close. And uh, I'm gonna try to be building my strength. Like I really wanna hit at least 550 deadlift. Uh, 450 squat and then go for a 300 pound bench. So with all this extra food, I guarantee I'm gonna be getting it done. So watch out guys. And another thing, a huge goal for the business of Colossus, early 2018, we're gonna try to get back into the merch sector. So we're either gonna do t-shirts or hoodies. So instead of time gang, if you guys wanna win one of these free shirts as soon as they come out, so you'll kind of be getting an early edition. We haven't made them yet, but just comment t-shirt or hoodie. Whichever one gets the most votes, we'll pick one of the winners that commented the correct one to win one of these items. So this is, this is gonna be a big one because we haven't even done them. We wanna make sure they're really good quality, get back into it and just have one kind of token piece of apparel that everyone can represent. So that's, that's big news. Okay, next up, we got what is slash are your biggest pet peeves? You both must answer. Kyle, you go first. Oh man, um, maybe I'll keep this gym related. When you walk into a change room, a gym change room, and there's like a million towels just laying there, I'll never understand why people can't take the towel and just place it in the bin. And number two, kind of similar thing is just like weights everywhere. I'll never understand once again why people can't re-rack re their weights. I just find that very, like, I don't know, it's weird. Um, so that kind of really annoys me. <laughs> Rewack. <laughs> All right, go. My biggest pet peeve, and this is a good question because I wanted to talk about this. The thing I hate more than, so we live in Toronto, so we walk a lot, especially downtown, malls, whatever. I hate when people are walking and they suddenly either stop or just turn around and you walk into them. I, I never understand, like if you're walking in an orderly fashion and someone just stops and turns around on the spot, it drives me insane because I like jump into people, then you're all mush, nah. I, if there's one thing I hate, it's that. Gym related, it's probably people that just like do really obnoxious things like for the sake of being obnoxious. Like I mean, you do whatever you need to do to get in shape, do your thing, but it's when someone like takes up like four benches to do mm -hmm. one weird exercise and they're like screaming and using 20 sets of weights and you're just trying to use it as well and they're sharing, it makes no sense. So those are my top two. Whack it, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Re whack it. <laughs> What's your take on students who can't afford whey and protein shake yet hit the gym hard and they, what can they do for that extra boost? So obviously protein is a nutrient first and foremost. The benefit of a protein shake above all else is you're getting a ton of it really easy without carbs or fats. So it's gonna hit your macros nice and quick, it's gonna get in your system nice and quick and it's easy to carry around. However, you don't need protein. If Kyle's going protein four scoops a day, I'm having chicken, Greek yogurt, other sources. If you guys see our kind of grocery store videos, we always talk about this. It's gonna be the same because they're both nutrients. So if you can't get whatever foods you can that are high protein sources, and then if not, definitely protein makes your life way easier, tastes delicious, it's just, especially if you're getting a good brand like AHP Labs, save 10% using discount code Colossus10. Cheers! No shame, just tastes great, it's really convenient, and if you have trouble hitting your protein, I recommend starting your day with two scoops of protein, it's great for satiety, it gets you nice and full off the bat, you're getting like 48 grams of protein in right away, and it's just, a great way to start out, but if you can't remember, it's not the end of the world, just eat more high protein foods. There we go. Oh, that was good. Next up guys, question is, what are your favorite songs outside the gym? So in the gym, I love rap music, fires me up inside and out, but like in general, I really enjoy country music. Spotify has this top songs for 2017, which is pretty cool. So some of my favorite country songs, uh, Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt, 
We got Ball Cap by Dylan Scott, Blue Tacoma, Russell Dickerson, and then Redneck Crazy, Tyler Farr, Give Me Some of That, Thomas Rhett. Comment down below, guys, what are your favorite songs? Love to hear and kind of listen to some new songs. Next up question, this is probably my favorite one. This is another DM question, is what is the cringiest video you think you've ever made? And I, I think we both, uh, we both have one we agree on. Oh, is it the uh, we burning one? We were, oh my god. <laughs> we were cooking in the kitchen when we started. I'll tell you about it and then we'll show, yeah, show some yeah. highlights. All right, deal. With my girlfriend and her brother and Kyle, we were just cooking. <laughs> we were trying to be so funny. Just, just watch. Wait, are, aren't we forgetting something? Baking soda! <laughs> I got baking soda! <laughs> These are our natural, natural, as natural as Kyle Grondon's half natty veins, brownies. I'm in love with the cold. Baking soda, I got baking soda. Uh, uh, cringe. Hey, then uh, a question I have for you. Yeah. This is my submission. All right. What is your favorite video you've ever made on the channel? Favorite video? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's tough. I was gonna say lap pull down because it's the biggest, but it's not my favorite. So yeah, this one very tough, but uh, my favorite is like the 2016 recap video. We put together a video of like all our best moments and like all our series and stuff like that. And uh, I feel like not enough people saw it. You know what that means? That means we gotta put it in here. No. We gotta make another one for next 2017 year. 2017. 2017. All right. Smash that like button, comment down below if you guys want to see that. But. Kyle worked hard on that. That was like 20 hours of editing, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we spent a good amount of time editing some of these. Some of them are quick, some are crazy, and a lot of videos go under the cracks. Like, if you dig hard on our channel, there's definitely some videos that have like K views that could be like the best videos on our channel, but mm -hmm. it's the way YouTube goes, right? It pushes what it wants to push. For me, um, all the calorie challenges were such a good time. I think the first one we did, where we did it with like, Everyone. Yeah, that was that was fun. Was that our first? Yeah, that was the first one. The first one we did. So it's got like 300k views or something. Yeah. We'll 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 link all these videos we're talking about. But that video was such a good time. We did it with like all our friends and stuff. So it was just like a really good 10k. So uh, we posted the image a little too late. So we're we're running low on questions here. But another good question, I think, since this is more of a year in review kind of Q and A, is uh, what's one the biggest mistake you feel you've made this year? Oh man. We'll give some time. Yeah, I, that's got me thinking. Answer. That's got me thinking. I have mine. Well, not so much me, but a Colossus thing. So I feel like we tried to start too many series. Mm. After Rising Legends, incredible success, we nailed it. Butter, 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 butter. And then we started making series and we weren't finishing them. Like our heart wasn't there. Yeah. It was so hard to find gyms to film in and stuff. So that was a buzzkill too, because series is something we're really proud of. And then I guess. Even further than that, we were filming videos like we weren't passionate about for a little while, mm -hmm. which I think screwed us up. So lately we've been doing our two a week really consistently. We've been enjoying this process a ton again. It's been a lot less stress. So I'd say that was one of our biggest mistakes, but I'm really happy with our format now. All of our videos now are really proud of. We haven't slacked, there's been just we've been very disciplined with it, and that's definitely the worst and the best thing. So I think one big mistake of mine in the past is focusing more on the likes over the legacy. And I think in the past, Josh and myself have really turned that around. Lately, we have like an amazing Facebook group. Like I don't even know how many members are in there, but it's just such a solid group of people that are just adding a lot of value to the group. When it comes to subscribers, like back in the day, I used to care about how many subscribers we had instead of focusing more on like the actual engagement of the people on the channel, how much we're actually impacting each person. So I think by turning everything around and focusing more on like actual solid engagement and putting out content um, not to get more subscribers but to get more like dedicated friends and followers and fans and stuff I think that's the best thing that's you know happened for us this year so I think that was one mistake that I've definitely made in the past then the last 2017 question I guess we'll end it on which is something we we wanted to add to finish off the video is like the one thing we feel like we've learned and mastered this year that's brought us closer to our goals so what's yours Oh man. Without thinking too hard, okay, bro. Okay, okay, I can't think too hard. Um, commit. 
commit. You committed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say, oh my God, this is good, yeah. I'm gonna say definitely like committing to things, like even like not even fitness related, but just number one thing is like, we just don't overthink things. We just, I know I'm overthinking the question right now, but just we jump into it. Even powerlifting meets, we're like, all right, you wanna sign up, let's go do it. Physique competition, went out, got my motorcycle, um, even doing backflips and stuff, learning that stuff, just like commit, commit. That's the best way to, you know, live your life and get the most accomplished and have a lot of fun. And mine, definitely quality over quantity, right? So there's like the whole minimalism kind of phase and craze, whatnot, but that's something that's huge to me, like having less, but having more of less. So really good quality. And that goes to Kyle's likes and legacy thing. So when we, a lot of other content creators would agree with this, we'd rather have like a thousand subscribers who watch every video, like every video, comment on every video, want to purchase our products, learn more with us, grow with our community, be good, supportful, kind of people like that that have a million subscribers who don't engage, don't care to watch every video, you know, aren't as passionate as what we're doing or our content. So we've really been focusing on the micro and really building that up, even in personal lives, like not focusing on having possessions for other people, stuff like that. And even like a lot of the services and stuff for our business, we we're subscribed to all these things, we're trying to do all these things. And instead of be focused by narrowing things down, we've been a lot more motivated and dedicated to really crush those things to the best of our ability. So that's definitely my biggest tip of 2017. Massive. So that's our Q&A. Hopefully uh, y'all had a good time, enjoyed the bacon soda, and uh, <laughs> smash that like button as always. 2018 is gonna be massive, it's just around the corner. We got some big things coming, we'll make sure to fill you guys in as, uh, as it comes out. So make sure you're following us on all our social, all the links are down below. Uh, we love you guys, peace.